confession to make. I am not the Chevalier Chagrin, but, but Wolf Franck, the warden of this prison. Ah, that's a good one. Unfortunately, it's no joke, but the bitter truth, my dear Marquis. Let's stop this Marquis nonsense. I am Gabriel von Eisenstein, and I've come to spend my eight days in jail. <laughs> well, that's a good one, too. But I can prove you're not von Eisenstein because I personally arrested von Eisenstein yesterday evening. You arrested him? When? When? Uh, yesterday evening at his home. He was in his dressing gown, sitting quite contentedly, having dinner with his wife. In his dressing gown? It... In my dressing gown? Eating dinner with my oh, wife? No, 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 with his wife. Oh, I, I was very moved by the fondness of their farewell. How they kissed goodbye. Kissed? Bye! Where is this Eisenstein? He's in number 12. Oh, but he's not allowed any visitors. Warn, warn. There's another lady outside. Well, who is she, Frosh? She wouldn't say, so I showed you into the waiting room. You'll excuse me for a moment, Mark. Now, this is most upsetting. I calmly go off to jail, and another man is arrested in my place while eating dinner in my house. My wife. Where's my lawyer? I don't 
don't know. Every time you turn around in this jail, something happens. Oh, here comes another lady. <laughs> oh, it ain't no lady. It's Dr. Blink. That was quick. Dr. Blink, you come on in here and I'll get the prisoner Eisenstein from number 12. About time I'll let that singing bird out of the armor. <laughs> What was that? How can he get, get, get you here right here? No, I'm not. I mean, not only am I here, but I'm there. And what are you doing here? Did you come to get my sentence increased? You? And stop laughing. It's not funny. But you, you sent for me. I sent for you? The, the policeman told me ex expressly that Herr von Eisenstein directed that I... Come here um, immediately. So, that gives me an idea. You must change places with me so I can cross-examine this imposter. Give me your glasses, your robe, your wig, and your briefcase. In that disguise, I can take your place and the imposters will be at my mercy. But, 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 Don't argue. Here we are, Dr. Blake. Here's a prisoner from number 12. Come on, my cuckoo. But there's no one here. Well, there was a minute ago. Every time you turn around in this jail, something happens. Now, look here. You wait here. Keep your eyes open. And don't run away. I shall return. And as for you, matey, I'm tired of telling you we've got no reservations, so you come on in, because I'm going to take you out of this day. I must confess that this is all becoming a bit boring. For a week to dwell in a dungeon cell, going thin and wizened in a solitary prison. Free from my fetal dream. Free to be far. I must speak with you. I hear an angelic voice, and it's not my own. Rosalinda, be my love, and with your kisses set me burning. Please, oh, and kiss is all I need to see. Alfred, this is no time for singing. My husband will be here at any moment. We've got to get you out of here. What are we going to do? This is terrible. I must confess, my little chickadee, I've been thinking along similar lines for the past several hours. Perhaps the lawyer whom I requested can get me out. Here he is now. Monsieur, madame. Ah, the faithless one in his arms. Well, I take them by surprise. 